Brother Ricky said it in his testimony. He said, I had to learn how to grow. I've been here four years. He said, I'm still working on, I'm still working on myself. But, you know, God is still moving, you know, because God is a patient God. Yeah. I'm going to show you in the Bible here. We're going to bring you to the word this morning. Amen. That, that, that he's going to tell us where he was patient with the tree. Amen. Mm. We're going to be in Luke 13. Verse six through nine, but we ain't gonna go there yet this morning. You know, you know, I was. We woke up this morning saying, you know, it's too cold, and and, and maybe we could go to this church, and maybe the guys need to be in this church, and all that. I started thinking about it. I go, no, no, no. I'm not about to lose my church. God gave me this church. Come on, somebody, amen. You know, back in the way, and I started thinking about back in the world. You know, we'd be up all night. Christmas nights, cooking, menudo, and barbecuing, snots are everywhere, muggles everywhere, but we didn't care. We still would, my God, I'm talking to somebody. Huh? Ain't no cold. The cold didn't even bother you. You know what I mean? I ain't even cold. Maybe you say, I ain't cold. But yet, but yet, you know, we get up this morning and say, oh, it's chilly. No, you know, we need some Jesus. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? I don't care how cold it is. I don't care how hot it is. My, my, my. Come on now. Good morning, church. What a beautiful morning, cool and crisp. Amen. Amen. Just like we like it. Amen. It's always good to be in the house of God. Amen. You know, where, where the spirit dwells among us. It's good to be in, in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And be in the presence of the spirit. Amen. Because we need it. Amen. Have a God witness. We got to welcome this spirit this morning. Amen. I, I welcome the spirit this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. There you go. That's the only way we can love on others. Have I got a witness? Amen. This, is how, this is how we learn to have. And, and this message this morning is about having mercy on others. And I think the, the minister today said it in his testimony. Amen. He, we got to have patience and, and, and it's being fruitful. Are y'all with me? Because when we learn to love others, my Lord, we learn to have peace. We learn how to have joy, amen, patience, kindness, goodness, amen, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, amen. And when you got the fruits of the Spirit in you, you, you learn to give a little more patience, amen. You learn to give a little bit more mercy. Have I got a witness? Amen. Irene and I had a beautiful time last Sunday, amen. Amen. It was much, it brought much refreshing. Amen. Got to sleep late. Eight o'clock. That's, that's late. Come on, somebody. That's, that's late, eight o'clock, boy. You know, when you, when you used to get up at two in the morning with baby David, amen. Four in the morning. Amen. We got to enjoy the show, amen, and the dinner, amen. Amen. So, but I want to thank the ministers for holding it down, amen. The church. I was hoping I heard somebody got saved and sanctified, got, got buried under water and raised and wrecked with God, amen. But, you know, it's okay, you know. No, if they didn't happen, it's all right. Just stick around a little bit longer and you'll start bearing some good fruit, amen. amen. That's the message this morning is what kind of fruit, what, how long, my God. Oh, my God, help me, Holy Ghost. This is the word this morning. Is that I got to keep asking myself, how long will it take for your tree to grow? Amen? Amen. I have, somebody praying with me this morning? Yes. See, I've been praying and I've been asking God to show me even more mercy. To have patience. To learn from the word of God. Continue seeking his guidance. Amen? Amen? So that I may show more mercy. So that I may show more patience. Amen? Not that God hasn't already shown me mercy. Amen? Because God has shown me plenty of mercy. Amen? Amen. And, and, but what I'm saying is that we need more Jesus. Have I got a witness? Amen. Amen. So I give thank, I thank God that he's, he showed me how to bear fruit today. But my question again is how much time do you need to bear fruit? Is it one year? Come on. Is it two years, three years, four years, ten years? Remember Miss Irene always said she told God I'm going to wait on pastor about another year. <laughs> Four years, five years, I don't know many, but you know, it, you know he, God said you're going to wait 25 years, my God. You, you, you see, this word this morning, this word that we're going into to Luke this morning, you know, there, you can't push something that's not ready to get there. Because God said, I got to be patient, you know, I, I, 
oh my God, help me. I, I, he ain't ready for it yet. Because God is still working on you. Amen. So, so this word today, this morning, is teaching us how we have to wait on others. Have a God a witness? Amen. Listen, I, I come to realize that we must first show mercy and patience if we want to see the good fruit in others. Amen. Amen. If we want to see those who have just come to follow Christ, those who want to bear good fruit, the answer is both simple and complex. Amen? You know, bearing fruit, what does bearing fruit mean? Can I teach you a little bit this morning? It means that you are a Christian. You know, you are now a believer in Christ. Amen? You're representing change, save, a life. You, you know, now you're representing a, a new life. So the fruit is a sign that we are in a solid relationship with God. It's saying, okay, if I'm bearing fruit, then I know I stand. I, oh, my God. I, I, nothing can move me today. Amen. I, I, I don't, the devil don't shake me no more, my God, because I, I know that I'm solid with God this morning. Amen. Have I got a witness? Amen. And most of all, you have chosen to produce good fruit. Amen. When we come to when we come to know Christ, when we come to know Jesus, are, are we making that call that you know what God? You know I, I, I I'm changing today because I I want to produce something good. Amen. And not only that, it blesses your life, but the lives of others and points them straight to God. Come on, somebody, Amen. brother Ricky said it this morning. You know what? We were called now to bear fruit so we can bring others to Christ. Amen. Amen. So God is speaking about this fruit, amen, of the spirit that comes through the lives of those who call on Christ. Amen. Those who walk in the spirit. Amen. But this life is complex. Esta nueva vida es complejo. No, it's, it, 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 why? Because it takes time for the tree to bear fruit. Amen. There are some connected parts. They have to come together, amen. You know, you, you can't jump in the car without a battery, amen. amen. Come on now. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Amen. You ain't gonna get in the car, ain't got no brakes. Come on now. My God, I'm talking to somebody. You might want to drive the car without a rear view mirror because you know you ain't worried about what's behind you no more. Because we walking with God today, amen. But back in the day, you better make sure you have a mirror. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. You looking in the mirror, you ain't even looking forward. You looking in the mirror, who and Popo coming for you? You see, but there's some there's some things that gotta come together, amen. Before you before you can grow, have a God a witness? Amen. Are y'all praying with me? It comes with a sincere heart, one to change, a new life, a better person, a relationship with our Savior, my God, bearing good fruit. Amen. See, all these got to come together. You can't just say, well, I want to praise God today, but tomorrow, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them on the shelf. Amen. No, 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 no. We don't need, we need a life of bearing good fruit. Amen. Because I'm telling you, nobody likes some sour fruit. Amen. You ever been down at the H-E-B and you go to the fruit and you pick up one and it got all that white and green on? What do you do? You, <laughs> That's just how God is looking at us. He said, man, what kind of fruit are you, are you bearing today? Amen. Mm, let, me, let me get back to my word here. Amen. Amen. It's not that I'm looking for someone to renounce their worldly ways and, and expect to see the fruit tomorrow. Man. No, no, it don't work that way. We, we, we're not mature just tomorrow. We, we don't start bearing fruit just we wake up the next day. Come on, somebody. Amen. Most of the time, they don't happen that way. It takes time for the tree to grow. When we plant a fruit tree, amen, we, you know, we don't expect apples next month. Are y'all with me? Amen. You got to wait on the season. Amen. Have I got a witness? You see, we have to water. We got to water the tree. We got to prune, amen. amen. We got to show mercy, amen. If we want to see that fruit, we got to learn how to be more graceful. We have to have patience. And I'm talking about being merciful to those who come to just come to know Christ. Amen. The Bible says you will know them by their fruits. Amen. Amen. When Matthew uh, chapter 7, verse 15, 16, we don't need to go there, but we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm just gonna bring this to kind of open up, open up your mind today, this Thank morning. You. The Bible says you will know them by their fruits. Grapes are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor figs from thistles. Right. Are they? Yes, so every good tree bears 
good fruit, yes, sir. but the bad tree bears bad fruit. Come on, now, a good tree, the Bible says, cannot produce bad fruit, nor can a bad tree produce good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. That's it. Mm. So then you will know them by their fruits, the Bible says. So where is the mercy that we are called to give to our brothers and sisters in Christ? Those who have just backslided? Mm. Or those who just gave their heart to Christ? Those that have been in bondage by the devil? Why are we so ready to throw them in the fire? Why are we so ready to look at him and go, this brother right here, he just playing church. He ain't never going nowhere. He ain't going to do nothing. So we're so ready to throw him out before the glory of God can be seen. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? So we should be lifting up these brothers and sisters. Praising God for their new life. Amen. But us as, you know, you know us as mature Christians, we're so quick. You know, we start saying, no, that guy is loco. That guy is mental. My God, I'm talking to somebody. He's disturbing. Help me, somebody. You know, we say, no, no, he's crazy. He's a hypocrite. No, we're cutting the tree down before we even allow it, before we even can see the fruit that's coming. Amen. Oh, I don't hear nobody this morning. Where is the mercy that God gave us? ¿Dónde está la misericordia que Dios los, nos dio a nosotros? Where, see, we should be serving. We should be, we should, my God, we should be so happy. Man, I know I, there weren't too many people happy when I came to know the Lord. Can I keep it real? But I was happy. My God, hey, my God. I, I, knew, I, I knew I wanted something different. They don't, you know, you know, some people are not going to give you the mercy. Some people are not going to give, be patient with you. But you know what? Just tell God, you know what, God? I know you are. Amen. Amen. Have a God of witness. Yes, Amen. Where's the love somebody showed you when you gave your heart to the Lord? When you said, I'm done, I need a savior. Somebody had mercy on you. Why don't we give that same mercy back to, to those who need mercy? Help me, Jesus. Amen. Somebody didn't throw you under the bus. Into the fire. Amen. Amen. It don't, you know, again, you know, it, it takes time for the tree to mature. It, it don't mature overnight. Have I got a witness? Amen. But we're so quick to take this glory from God you, because God, God is doing something. We got to stand back and say, God, okay, God, what are you showing me in this brother? What are, you know, some of these brothers that left home, you know what? And that's why I, I, I think I brought this message because... You know, I was like, okay, God, was I not enough patience with him? But this word tells us today that God came back not one year. He came back not two years. He came back three years. And after three years, he still didn't see no fruit. So he told the gardener, he said, you know what? This one ain't bearing no fruit. Just go ahead and cut it down. But we're going to get there in a bit. <laughs> Amen. My, my, my. Amen. What do we think? That our tree is all that? You think that, you know, you know, we're all mature? Everything's in order? The devil is a liar. You know, we think we're all bearing good fruit? Yeah. Let me put a camera in your house. Hey. Let me put a camera in your car. Come on now. Let me put a camera in your job. There you go. Mama, I'm, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Yeah. Well, I'm going to mess up this morning. Y'all better help me. If you think you truly don't, you know, your tree don't need no pruning, my God, you better check yourself. Because next time you're on your phone looking at a bunch of nasty stuff, my God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Well, when you, my God, when your mind is thinking this craziness, amen, when your heart is bitter, my God, when you got this angry spirit, I'm talking to somebody this morning. When, when, when you got this lying tongue or, you know, the five-finger discount, my God, y'all know nothing about that, Amen. <laughs> Y'all better check that tree again. Amen. Amen. Help me, Jesus. Come on. Thank you. My, my, my. My God, you know that them roots you have in your tree, boy, they, you know what? They need an axe. You see, una hacha, amen. Just cut the tree down and start over. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. You know, we, because, because that root ain't good in you. You know, God, you know, we know the word that, you know, the King Nebuchadnezzar, God didn't cut it all the way down. But some of us, we need to cut it down to the roots. 
Have I got a witness? Amen. See, some of us, we're still in a, in a season of bearing some bad fruit. Can I keep it real? Amen. We need some Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Give him glory this morning. You, you, you see, a man, a man to bear good fruit, it, it must come out of his heart. Amen. I'm talking about this heart. You got to, me, I'm talking about us. Amen. Have I got a witness? We have to learn to show mercy, love, let some things go in our lives so that lo the love of Christ can dwell in your spirit. Some things that we're holding on to don't allow us to have love in our hearts. We keep thinking about all the past that we did and, and, and we're too focused on what we did back there. Don't worry about what we did back there. You got to live for today. The Bible says what? If you live by the spirit, you walk by the spirit. How we walk in the day. You chucking and die, jiving. Amen. We may, we, you know, we have to. We, we, we are changed. We have a purpose. We are called to bear fruit so that why? So that God can receive the glory. Come on, somebody. We, we have a purpose now to say, you know what? Not, not, that's not me. That was that old tree. But today I don't walk that way. Why? Because what I do, God is getting glory. Don't look at the man's tattoos. Don't look at his past. Don't look at his struggles. Don't look at his failures. Wait on the fruit. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. You got to say, okay, I, you know what? I, I don't care what his brother looks like, but what I'm waiting on is his fruit. He deserves a little mercy. Él merece un poco de misericordia. Come on, somebody, amen. He, he, he needs a little mercy. How long did it take? You. Come on now. How long did it take this tree to mature? The church, the pastors. Some of us are still walking in some bad fruit. Can I keep it real this morning? We have to call on to God, our Savior, amen, and, and tell him I'm done bearing this bad fruit. I need you this morning, Lord. I need you to change me. If it's changing me overnight, because God will do it, amen. Won't he do it? Not all got this radical change. You know, not everybody can just overnight just change. Amen. But God will do it. If, he, if it's God's will, he'll do it. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Amen. See, see, even the man of God needs some pruning. Sure. Amen. Yeah. He needs some fertilizer. Yeah. He needs some miracle growth. Yeah. My God, y'all don't hear me this morning. Yeah. I think Miss Irene, she, I think she'll receive this because she loved being in the yard. Amen. You know, you know, sometimes you know we need that manure stuff and then you know something that just take is working in that ground. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Somebody that's stinky fertilizer, amen. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Talk back to me, somebody, amen. Are y'all praying with me? Yes, sir. How long do we need for our tree to bear fruit? God has to take his pruners out and, and, and bring some discipline, amen? So sometimes God just got to cut a leg off sometimes, amen? He got to cut an ear off sometimes. My God, y'all don't hear me this morning. That way he'll let you know what your fruit is like. Let you know that everything that you think is good is not all that. Amen. Have I got a witness? Amen. See, you look good on the outside, talk a good game, amen? You know, some of us got a silver tongue, amen? Amen. But on the inside, well, we got a whole bunch of bad bubble gum. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Have I got a witness? That, that, that bubble gum, man, all that sin just stick to you. Like, you, you ever get bubble gum in your hair, amen? That, that, that's how the sin is, amen? See, see, we don't know how to let it go. And then we wonder why we ain't bearing good fruit. Amen. Well, you got to get that bad bubble gum out you. That juicy fruit. Well, we love some juicy fruit, don't we? I'm, I'm, I'm. But, you know, may, may, maybe we are the ones that need to stop ministering. Or oh, we're going to get quiet up in here now. If we're not living for God, and how in the world will we show the love and grace and mercy to somebody else when we don't even have it in us? Amen. See, they say, I don't, don't be quick to throw your brother in the fire. Amen. Because he might be producing some sweeter fruit than you. He might have a pocket full of juicy fruit. Uh, are y'all hearing me this morning? He's saving souls for the kingdom, amen? Uh, breaking chains 
of addictions, amen. Come on, somebody. Beating the devil out of Texas, my God. Sending that devil all the way back to Louisiana. My God, I'm talking to somebody this morning. See, see that brother got an anointing he possesses, but you can't see it, my God. You got to say, okay, you know what? Okay, God, you know, you know, this brother right here, he got something in him. Well, you'll tear somebody up. See, we need these people, amen. You know, my God, help me, Holy Ghost. We need these warriors amen. for Jesus, them sold out warriors, amen. Them that are tore up from the floor up. I think somebody said that this morning, amen. But possessing the anointing of God. God is working in some folks that have been dead for a long time. These trees that have been dried up for a long time. He's calling those who the devil has had choked for so long and say, you know what? I need you to wake up. I need this tree to become green this time. I, I need you to start working for me. Come on, somebody. Amen. I need you to move in a mighty way, show some fruit that I may receive the glory. Amen. God is call, calling right now. He's calling some folks that have been dead for a long time. Yeah. They never, never even knew Christ, but they're doing more than us that we've been walking with God for too long. I guess I ain't talking to this church. I'm talking to the folks that, that I know, amen. You got, man, y'all should be getting up and shouting holy Jesus this morning, man. Come on, somebody. Give him praise this morning. We got to say, you know what, God, next time just, just give me a little bit more patience. I just, I just need a little more patience, God. You know, I, I'm going to get there. This year's going to be my year. Because this year's almost over already. And if we still struggling, my God, I'm, I'm coming into a new season. I'm coming into another way of life that I need you, Lord. Why wow, you we should be getting up and shouting his holy name. Next time we want to condemn somebody, take a good look at yourself. Don't try to take the speck out of your eye when you got a two by four still in your eye. Can't even see straight. You got to examine yourself. Check your fruit. Examine yourself. To see whether you are in the faith, the Bible says. Amen. Yourself. And, and, and don't you realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless you, what? Examine yourself. Unless you, come on somebody. No, no. Examine yourself. Unless, of course, you fail the test. Okay. See, we got to know. We got to truly know. You know what? Am I, am I really in Christ? Mm. Am I showing the fruit of Christ? Mm. You got to tell yourself, would God like this fruit? Or will he say, no, I'll tear this tree down and throw him in the fire. Right. You got to say, man, you got to ask yourself, is, is what I'm doing God is receiving? Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. See, we all need some pruning. Yeah. We all need a haircut.